Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jeff Herndon. And I'm Juliet Thatcher. BTK back in the spotlight tonight after investigators find items of interest connected to unsolved murders on the property where he used to live. The search happened Tuesday. The Osage County Sheriff says Raider is a prime suspect in the Cynthia Dawn Kinney case. She was reported missing from Pawhuska, Oklahoma in 1976. The Sheriff's Office says two searches in April and yesterday uncovered items including old pantyhose and items that had been buried with shingles, saying it's the same location where Raider had a storage shed where Wichita police found evidence back in 2005. The sheriff also says leading up to the search, he's interviewed Dennis Raider several times. Dennis, I, 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 he, he, he has spoke with us. Uh, you know, he's pretty notorious for playing cat and mouse games. Uh, you know, he, uh, the first interview within a short time after I left, he contacted media and advised them. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, probably not unexpected, but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's just part of going through these type cases. The sheriff told KSN. Raider denies being involved with the Kinney case. Raider's daughter, Carrie Rawson, reacting on social media to Tuesday's search. She said this past spring, a federal district attorney's officer offered her father federal immunity, giving him a chance to confess to any other violent crimes he may have committed. She said she'll continue to provide assistance to authorities as investigations continue.